Comprehensive of Care for Seniors Act of 2018. I'll now turn to Ms. Wilorski, bill sponsor, to give an opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to urge my colleague to support H.R. 6561, the Comprehensive Care for Seniors Act of 2018. I introduce this bipartisan legislation with Representative Jenkins, Chu, Blumenauer, and Kind. I want to thank them for their hard work on this bill and their previous work on the issue. The programs of all-inclusive care for the elderly, commonly known as PACE, is a, pro is a proven model for delivering high-quality, comprehensive, integrated, and coordinated community-based health care for seniors. It helps seniors whose health condition otherwise would land them in a nursing home to remain in the community for as long as possible by allowing them to see health professionals and social service providers at local PACE centers. In 2016, CMS released a proposed rule to update the original guidelines from 2006. This much needed update would allow PACE programs to customize their interdisciplinary team around needs of each enrollee, provide more services in community settings outside of a PACE center, and give greater flexibility to partner with community providers. H.R. 6561 requires the Secretary of HHS to finalize updated regulations for PACE by the end of this year while still giving the Secretary the flexibility to make updates and changes to the proposed regulation. Seniors facing health challenges should have the option to receive high-quality health care while continuing to live at home, and the PACE program helps them do that. St. Joseph PACE in Mishawaka, Indiana, has proven this model of care is effective in improving health outcomes and quality of life. The PACE program is long overdue for an update, and this bipartisan, common-sense legislation will ensure improvements are made quickly so more seniors can live longer at home. I urge my colleagues to support this common-sense bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. The only yields back. I'll now recognize Mr. Blumenauer, original co-sponsor bill for purposes of an opening statement. We'll reserve that time for Ms. Blumenauer. When he returns, we'll now proceed to consideration of H.R. 6561 without objection. The measure will be considered as read and open for amendment at any point. This time, I offer an amendment in nature substitute, which was distributed in advance, along with the green sheet.